All right. So this is another kind of oddball I've been working on. Again, I don't post a whole lot because there's, you know, I, I just wait for stuff that hasn't been covered. You know, no, no sense in, you know, beating a dead horse. So this is a Ural, or Earl, or however you say it, motorcycle engine. Uh, 750 cc and my buddy has ridden it a total of about 7,500 miles and he had an issue with the rear main bearing pieces like this are what's left of the cage for the rear main bearing that's what's left of the rear seal when the cage went started making all kinds of noise and beat itself to death. So this is the rear bearing housing. That's got the new bearing in there with a snap ring, as you can see. And I believe I figured out what was going on with it. So underneath the bearing, you see this oil hole, right? So that's where oil gets pushed out through from the oil pump. On this motor, this cover houses the drive for the oil pump. And if you look down in here, you can see this shaft right here. Now the way this guy works, my best understanding, this is not a pressurized oil system. It does have an oil pump, but what the oil pump does is the oil pump pushes oil to locations where it can just cover like this guy right here if you look there's spot welds that hold on this this cup and what that does is that collects oil to use centrifugal force to push oil into the rod bearing the rods up here and there's a couple little holes right there so the rod does not receive pressurized oil yet you see these two tubes, the oil pumps down there, it feeds oil pressure in from this guy right here. You see a 90 degree angle coming up, makes a turn, goes into here, and then feeds the front the same way. So the front and the rear are essentially mirror images of each other. And again, it's not pressurized oil, okay? It just uses the pump to get the oil to where it needs to be to lubricate it, to essentially splash it. So, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of stuff online saying that the Ural was having issues with rear main seals. And it would have oil that would push past it and you'd get it all over the, uh, what do you call it, the, the clutch housing and it'd make a big old mess. This is a little dirty right now. I live in the Pacific Northwest. We get water, we get rain. You know, I got to clean this all up before I put it back together. But, uh. At any rate, so I was studying this housing. So that oil, that port that you see, matches with that oil passageway. It comes up and it feeds into a little teeny tiny hole that's underneath the bearing. So that oil goes into there, comes out this passageway, and gets collected in this cup to centrifugally feed that rod bearing. Well, the problem is... If you look right there, there's there is an access way to the bearing, but it doesn't. You don't get you, you don't get uh, what do you call it main bearing priority oiling. It's just feeding oil through and dropping into that cup. So most of the oil doesn't even make it to that bearing. Then, like I said, they were having problems with the uh, the rear mains. So if you look, these are two drain passages that go back into the crankcase. That drains the oil back in. So, how's this guy supposed to get oil? Well, then I noticed right here. There's a casting there for a passageway. And it lines up with that passage. See it? And you can see my scratch marks. That's That'll come into the story here in a minute. So, what I did was I was looking at it going, well, we already know that the rod's getting oil, but this rear main wasn't getting enough oil and it was essentially destroyed how are we going to get oil to this and again it's not pressurized it's just 
you know, it's, it's just pushing the oil into where it needs to be. So with this casting showing me that there was at one time a passageway that fed this bearing, I'm assuming they did away with it because the rear main was blowing out, or the rear main seal, so they put in those two drain back holes. So if you look right there, what I did was I identified the size of that oil feed hole inside of there. It's a number 49 drill bit. It's not metric. I thought it was going to be metric, like a 2 or a 3 millimeter. It's not. It's a number 49. So what I did was I lined this guy up. I identified where that passageway is, set him up at a 45 degree angle, and center drilled it. And then I drilled another passageway. So with those two big exit holes right there, we shouldn't have to worry about it blowing out the rear main. This passage is going to allow oil in here. Most of it's actually going to go back down that drain. Hopefully there will be enough pressure there that it will hit the seal and come back in and oil this rear main bearing. This is a new bearing. In addition to that, we'll still have this passageway that is going to go into that cup. I am a little concerned because I put the same size hole in there. So now, essentially, whatever pressure was being produced is going to be cut in half because you have two passageways of the same size. But again, this is not a pressurized system. All it's doing is it's feeding oil to where it needs to be lubricated at. There's, there isn't really any, quote-unquote, you know, pressurized oiling system. And it's just, it's an oddball kind of system. It's, it's old technology made it with new technology to make this all work <clears throat> so we're going to try this out and again that's only a number 49 and this bearing i mean there was material all over inside of here and i still got to take the bottom end off and clean it up and uh reinstall it today but again i, I don't i don't post a lot because a lot of stuff's been covered but if i find something oddball like this I like to post it so that way people can see it and say, hey, you know, I haven't seen anything on this type of engine or this type of car or somebody hasn't covered this. Then I'll cover that stuff. And there's not a whole lot on the Urals. There's a, a couple rebuilds and stuff on there. But again, trying to figure out how this rear main was supposed to be oiled was kind of kind of tricky to figure out. And you have to go into a thought process. And I believe my solution... Although it may not be ideal, you know, is, is going to be, I believe it'll be passable because again, that other passageway goes in and contacts the race and just pours out here. There's nothing, there's nothing in this passageway to obstruct the oil and feed it into that bearing. All it does is it comes up, hits that bearing, and then goes into this cup. And while this is spinning, centrifugal force forces the oil out and pushes it in. So there's no seal between here and that cup to feed it back into that bearing. So essentially, the only thing this bearing gets is like a little mist. And, you know, I, I would say that for this type of bearing, that, that wouldn't be that bad. But unfortunately, it's already proven that it'll fail. So adding a secondary oil port... I don't believe to be that bad of an idea. We are going to have to do some other things to make sure that the seal holds. So we'll, 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 we'll test it out and see what happens. Hopefully there's uh, not going to be a repeat of this, and I'm not going to have this guy back in here anytime soon. So my buddy really wants to go out and ride his motorcycle, and I don't blame him. So we'll see if this solves the oiling problem to that rear main. Anyway, thanks for watching.